What's up, born on September 25, 1968, Will Smith is a multi-talented artist whose career spans music and acting. His journey began alongside childhood friend Jeffrey Towns when they formed the iconic rap duo DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Their second album, He's the DJ, I'm the Rapper, 1988, achieved triple platinum status. However, Will Smith's fame skyrocketed as an actor, thanks to his role as the lovable teenager from West Philadelphia in the TV show The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, 1990-1996. This sitcom catapulted him to stardom. Simultaneously, Smith ventured into the film industry and landed significant roles, notably in the blockbuster Independence Day, 1996. This set the stage for his dominance in 90s and 00s cinema, bringing in unparalleled box office returns. Remarkably, he maintained a thriving rap career, releasing four albums between 1997 and 2005, each achieving at least gold status. I born Clifford Joseph Harris Jr. in Atlanta, Georgia. In 1980, T.I. is a pioneering figure in the trap music genre. He inked his first major record deal with Arista Records' La Fosse subsidiary in 1999 and released his debut album, I'm Serious, in 2001. He later founded Grand Hustle Records in 2002. T.I. is a three-time Grammy Award winner known for hit singles like Whatever You Like and Live Your Life, featuring Rihanna. His breakthrough came in 2003 with the release of Trap Music, featuring hits like Rubber Band Man and Let's Get Away. His career continued to soar with albums like Urban Legend, King, and T.I. vs. T.I.P. Notably, his 2008 album Paper Trail achieved significant success, certified gold within its first week and reaching the number one spot. T.I. has ventured into acting, appearing in films such as ATL, Takers, Get Hard, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Ant-Man series. Automatic Stake, 2009, is the seventh studio album by American hip-hop artist Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Released in 2009, this album adopted an innovative pricing strategy with a minimum cost of $3, providing flexibility to fans. Food and Liquor, 2, The Great American Rap Album, Part 1 released on September 25, 2012, this album is the fourth studio offering from American rapper Lupe Fiasco. The production process spanned from 2009 to 2012 and features contributions from artists like Bilal, Pooh Bear, and others. Babyface Killa is the ninth mixtape by American rapper Freddie Gibbs, unveiled on September 25, 2012. It marked the first installment of the Gangsta Grills series featuring the Gary Indiana-based artist. The mixtape featured 18 tracks and additional bonus tracks on the deluxe edition released on iTunes. Fetty Wap's debut studio album was released on September 25, 2015, through RGF Productions and 300 Entertainment. The album featured hit singles like Trap Queen, 679, My Way, and Again, all of which achieved significant success on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Evermore, The Art of Duality is the second studio album by the American hip-hop duo The Underachievers. Released on September 25, 2015, it peaked at number 9 on the Billboard chart. Live and Grow is the debut studio album by American rapper Casey Veggies. Released on September 25, 2015, it was launched through Epic Records Invested in Culture. Spillagen is the major label debut album by the American hip-hop collective Spillage Village. Led by artists like Jed and Earth Gang, this album, released on September 25, 2020, features guest appearances from notable artists such as Chance the Rapper, Black, and others. Only for Dolphins is the fifth studio album by American rapper Action Bronson. Released on September 25, 2020, through Loma Vista Recordings and Concord Records, the album features a diverse production lineup and showcases Bronson's unique style. What You Gonna Do When The Grid Goes Down is the 15th studio album by the American political hip-hop group Public Enemy. Released on September 25, 2020, via Def Jam Recordings, this album marked the group's return to the label after a long hiatus. Seven Times Down Eight Times Up is the third studio album by rapper El Zai. Released in 2020, it came four years after his sophomore effort, Lead Poison. The entire album was produced by Junior Swifts, with guest appearances from fellow Detroit-based artists Monica Blair and Fez Rock. Thanks for watching.